Hi, this is Wishup, and this is your weekly reading from Monday, June 20th, which is today, um, through Sunday, June 26th. So let me get into the astrology real quick. As you can see, I'm doing this in a car. It's kind of stuffy in here too, so it's going to be a quickie, but uh, I didn't want to miss it. Um, on Friday, the sun is going to move into Leo and Mercury will also move into Leo. Uh, Venus, which is just tipping into Virgo, is going retrograde on Friday and it's going to retrograde and spend most of its retrograde time in Leo. So if we think of Cancer, where we had that huge concentration of planets um, recently as being about home and family and negotiating your emotional security with others, Leo has a lot to do with the security you feel within yourself your personal power, and then the way that you present that to the world. Um, so it could be questions about um, your appearance or the impression you're making on people that you uh, have changes that you might want to make there, or you may have opportunities to make statements about your passion, about your ambition, about your desires um, in a bigger, bolder, uh, more creative way. Um, than you've been able to do before or then maybe you felt like you had the opportunity to do before. So we're going to put a lot of energy there and although Venus is going to be retrograde in Leo, um, you know, she is about beauty and love and money and abundance and usually in a retrograde period you're looking within, you're kind of reflecting on that. So I think um, it might be an opportunity to think about how have you really embodied that sense of beauty and love and abundance within yourself, um, not just in uh, your external circumstances, which you might think of as kind of a Taurian kind of thing, but really within your own self. How are you bringing that to bear on the desires of your life? And if this time in cancer has given you uh, a period of emotional security, you really have a great platform to build forward. So I know it's really boring looking at the car seat, so I'm going to give you some quick cards here. It's just a three card thing and I'll do an oracle card. Okay, so here is the ring rider. I hope you can see that. I can sort of barely see the, <laughs> see the camera screen here. Okay, the bucket bill poster and I'll close up on these. Okay, oh yes, Governor of Buckets in reverse. Where would I be without you? I say this because this, this card is somewhat haunting me recently, so, um, but it may be that the, these themes are also haunting you. So um, the Ring Rider is gonna be the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and we think of the Knight of Pentacles as being a very, steady, reliable, stable character. And here you can see she's actually seated rather stably as well. Um, and she's underneath this sort of celestial image um, and the tents, which sort of gives you an idea that she's a, you know, thinking uh, in a big picture, like where do I fit into the big picture? Things are very stable, things are very quiet. The ring rider in reverse tends to say, you're not gonna be feeling that way. Um, materially things may be in flux and actually with all that Leo energy you may be looking to make um, material moves make material changes so sticking with um, the status quo or what's the most stable I mean maybe a little boring I mean the Knight of uh, Pentacles in his worst uh, or the ring rider at her worst might actually be a little bit boring so uh, you kind of want to go with the excitement, I think, this week. Um, this is the bucket bill poster, which would be uh, traditionally the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is often seen as a very amusing uh, young character, somebody with a lot of spirit, with a lot of enthusiasm, um, who uh, takes a lighthearted view of the world. Now this particular card, let me show you this, this guy. This one actually has a little bit of a jaundiced eye. Oh, let me hold this so you can see it. That he casts upon the world. He looks a little bit like he'd like it to be proven to him. Um, so this guy, I think, looks more like someone who's been burned, um, young, and uh, we don't want to see him harden. So I think that the, that the idea could be don't let uh, past experiences make you feel like you were a fool. 
like you were a fool to trust, like you were a fool to try, you shouldn't have done it, you know, it was just so naive and stupid. And that's the kind of thing that the ring rider in the upright position would say. It wasn't reliable, it wasn't a sure thing, you shouldn't have done it, you shouldn't have taken the risk. Um, don't get hardened. You know, um, Leo is an open-hearted sign, and I think being open-hearted is what's called for this week, to make the most of it. So here's the governor of buckets. All right, okay. So the governor of buckets, if we look at it up, upright, this would be the king of cups. This one is a very musical uh, card. So in the reverse position, you can be dealing with someone who's emotionally not trustworthy because in the upright position, it's someone who is very trustworthy, um, someone who's very reliable. So when you see this bucket bill poster has got sort of a cynical view and the governor of buckets in the, um, in the reverse position, you're saying, well, you know, it may be that you will be dealing with people who aren't completely upfront, who don't necessarily have your best interests in mind. However, um, being emotionally open is how you get the best out of life. So keep your eyes open. You don't have to make dumb decisions, but you don't want to close yourself off either. You don't want to be so mistrusting because of bad experiences or past hurts that you're not open to something new that could be actually good, that could be really good. Um, so I think the King of Buckets also in reverse says, um, when we're talking about commanding the emotions, you want to command your inner landscape. Rather than react, you know, you can go ahead and have your feelings, be open-hearted, but when you want to make a final decision, really look inside, you know, look into your gut inside, um, because your, your intuition is going to be strong this week. So let me pull this other oracle card real quick so we get a little something that might either confirm or elaborate on what we've got. Okay. Oh, and I, I will tell you just because I don't know if I'll have time to add it to the description. The foundation card here, which is another reason why I'm kind of happy, the foundation card uh, at the bottom of the deck, you know, the underpinning card or shadow card, some people call it, is the nine of rings, which is attainment. This is a card with a great deal of material security. So you may feel like you're naive or you may feel like you're, uh, you know, a rube, but you're not. You can trust yourself. You're making good choices and you're going to get to where you're trying to go. And you will be, um, that attainment card has a lot to do with personal security being emotionally secure and having your own resources, being independent. So this means you're going to listen to your own counsel. You're going to be the king. You're going to trust your own counsel. You're going to do your own thing and it's going to get you where you're trying to go. So I'm going to flip this oracle card here. Okay. Follow the leader. This one also has been haunting me. So, Sometimes I see this as, you know, you need to take good advice. See, it's sliding down the car seat. <laughs> and sometimes I see it as you shouldn't follow the leader. So let me read you what, what she says, and then we'll, I'll talk about sort of how I see it in this context. Uh, this is the Colette Baron Reed um, Enchanted Map Oracle deck. And I should say this is the uh, Zirkus Magi Tarot by Doug Thorns Joe. Okay, follow the leader. Every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. You're being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery in the adventure of your life. Okay, that's Leo all the way, right? You're authentic. You're uh, pushing forward with honesty. You're showing bravery in the face of adventure. You're not worrying that you might get your feelings a little hurt. You're not worrying that you might get um, your emotions dented along the way because you're moving bravely in the direction of your dreams. And I think that's kind of what you have to do. You have to take that emotional security that you've been working so hard to put together through all this cancer energy and you've got to take it forward and say, I may have taken some knocks, I might have some scrapes and stains on me, 
but I'm ready to move forward. I'm taking the risk. So let me read you the rest of this. The experiences of battles won and lost, places discovered, tears shed, and joy revealed have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. Your suffering has been crystallized into a talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it. By being fully authentic, you'll lead others into the light. You'll be required to divulge some things about your past so that you may help someone else. Lead with love. There is another message here as well. Look to those whose great character and accomplishments you admire. Emulate those you respect. You will then in turn have more to offer. So again, this card is talking about emotional vulnerability. Don't be afraid to make yourself vulnerable because that strength in vulnerability, saying, I have my wounds, I have my failures, I have my regrets, and I have the things that I've triumphed over and that I'm very proud of. That's how you do leadership. That's how you lead people, not by telling them what to do, by showing them your journey and providing, um, hopefully, uh, in your example, resources that they can use however they see fit to apply to their life in whatever way makes the most sense to them. So uh, go out there, be authentic, be emotionally vulnerable, have a good time. All this energy in Leo is going to be about having a good time, but don't worry if you look dumb doing the dance because having a good time and going for what makes you feel great is kind of what it's all about this week. And it really is going to get you toward your dreams a lot better than having all the right answers by um, never letting them see you sweat. You know, be genuine first. Everyone responds to that. So have a great week. Rock on with yourselves. I cannot wait to turn this car on and get the AC going again. And uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.